This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt this installation. Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Leviton 20 amp weather resistant GFCI receptacle and a Leviton 20 amp standard receptacle. Uh, they're both commercial quality and they're spec grade. They're called spec grade. So they're excellent quality receptacles. And this box happens to be the most upstream box of the circuit. So uh, I'm going to be installing the GFCI right away and then it'll protect the other receptacles downstream which happens to be it'll be protecting this receptacle and one other receptacle so there's there's three duplex receptacles on this circuit I have the 20 amp receptacles because there's going to be skill saws and heavy duty equipment uh, plugged into these receptacles and the 20 amp receptacles are a more heavy duty for applications like that and this is a 20 amp circuit and this is 12 gauge wire so I am uh, allowed or able to install the 20 amp receptacles which is what I'm going to do before we get started we have to figure out which cable is the line cable and which is the load cable and just looking at it I think that this is the line cable but we have to verify that. So I have the Wago lever nuts on all of the wires for safety. And now I'm going to turn on the circuit breaker. Okay, I have the circuit breaker on. So this is a live circuit now. And this is my Fluke 1AC voltage detector. And I'm gonna test out the various wires. And here's the hot one right here. Okay, so there's only one hot wire. It's this one right here. This is my Fluke 117 electrician's meter. And I have one lead plugged into this Wago lever nut and one lead plugged into this Wago lever nut. And I have 119.9 volts AC. That's an excellent voltage. I'm also gonna test across the ground wire. See, I got the black lead on the ground wire right now. And I have 119.8 volts AC. So. I have an excellent return path to ground. So I've got good voltage, I've got good ground. I know that this cable is the line cable and this is the line wire. And I'm gonna turn off the circuit breaker. Okay, the circuit breaker is off. I'm gonna make this test right here. And I'm testing with my meter and I get zero volts AC. So we've double checked to make sure that the electricity is currently off. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the grounds together. So this is the ground going to the downstream receptacle and put it all the way into this five connector Wago lever nut and click it down and this is the one uh, coming from the line cable and click that down uh, this is the one that bonds the, the metal box and I'm going to click that down okay then I, I have prepared two pigtails uh, one of which will go to each of the devices. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in there all the way, click it down, push this one in there all the way, and click it down. I'm going to be installing the devices like this, so that puts the ground wires down at the bottom. So I'm going to start by going upwards and then down with the connector. And then I'm going to come out here and here with the ground wires. Before we get started with the rest of the wiring, I've noticed that this caulking is cracked a little bit. So I'm just going to go over it, give it some new caulking. Okay, I've got new caulking around all three sides of the box. We don't want any chance of water getting in this box at all. Here's the GFCI receptacle we're going to be using. And if you turn this over, you can see on the back, the hot black wire goes right here. The white neutral wire goes right here with the silver terminal. This one has a black terminal. 
and right here it says line so we've identified our line cable so the black line wire will go here the white neutral line wire will go right here the downstream receptacles will be served by these terminals when you take off the yellow tape you discover that it says load right there we're going to be putting our black load wires on the black terminal side right here and we're going to be putting our neutral white load wires on the side with the silver terminal so we have line wires up here and then when you take off the gold colored tape you have load wires down here so I'm going to take this ground wire and I'm going to connect it to the green grounding terminal of the GFCI I'm going to tighten it down securely I've marked the line wire with a little red tape uh, so that you can differentiate it easily from the load wire so this is the line wire so we're going to take the line wire neutral and we're going to go to the line wire area with the silver terminal I'm going to go ahead and put that right in there I'm going to tighten it down securely then we're going to take the line wire and we're going to put it to the black line terminal right here give them a good tug make sure they're on there really well okay now we're going to be putting the load wires onto the GFCI now this white load wire has to go directly to the GFCI so that this GFCI protects downstream receptacles and then we're going to use a pigtail I'm going to also put the pigtail right here this terminal is made to take two wires it's not a problem I'm going to tighten it down securely okay so that's in there really good and that's really in there really good so I want you to give these a tug to make sure okay so all right those are really tight all right so we have the pigtail that's going to go to the other receptacle and I'm going to turn this over and this is the load terminal right here now I have prepared a pigtail a black pigtail as well so here's your wire the load wire okay and it goes right in there like that and this is your pigtail it's going to go right in there like that as well I'm going to tighten it down securely this is going to be on this side and the receptacle is going to be on this side so we're going to want this white wire on this side we're going to want this black wire on this side we're going to want the ground wire down here okay so now we're going to hook up the adjoining receptacle so first I'm going to take the ground wire and put it on the green grounding terminal of the weather resistant 20 amp receptacle and I've tightened that down securely okay so I've got my white on this side my black on this side I put the white neutral wire right here okay I'm going to put the black hot load wire right here and I'm going to tighten this down securely and give it a good tug give this a good tug give them all a good tug okay so let's let's go over this we've got the ground wires going to both of the receptacles okay we've got the line cable going to the upper part of the GFCI we've got the load cable going to the lower part of the GFCI we have pigtails stemming from the GFCI that way this receptacle will be protected by the GFCI we have pigtails stemming from the GFCI going over to the weather resistant 20 amp receptacle now that we have both wired up I'm going to take some black electrician's tape and I'm going to go around the terminals for safety and I'm going to do that for both of the receptacles 
you see I recommend screwing the screws in all the way before putting the cover on because that dresses the wires that bends the wires the way they need to be bent and now I'm going to back them all out about a half an inch okay so I'm ready to put on the Leviton extra duty cover but uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some caulking on the edge here as you tell I'm very serious about water not getting into this box here so here's your Leviton extra duty cover and see it does have a nice foam gasket but I put the caulking on also so this goes over all the screws and you slide it like that okay now we're gonna tighten up the screws okay so I've tightened it up with the screw gun now I'm gonna go uh, by hand to make sure everything's nice and tight we want that gasket wished on here real well and I, I like I said I put a little caulking on that edge too okay so here's the little cover that goes on it there's a lip here and a lip here and it goes like that it says back on the back we we'll put it right in there push it in and I got a little tool here that's just great for pushing all kinds of things okay so uh, that one's on right there okay then this one goes on so here we go we've got the uh, weather resistant GFCI receptacle and the weather resistant regular receptacle and let's uh, turn on the circuit breaker see how we're doing okay circuit breakers on the little green LEDs on and there we got our two lights that indicate proper wiring and here we've got it there that one's good and that one's good okay so now we'll do a test and press test and that worked properly so we know that this GFCI is controlling this receptacle let's see try it down here reset test okay so that's working properly you can also put it right here or say reset and then test so the GFCI is working properly and the receptacle next to it is working properly it closes up like that you want to open it and you just open it like that and you have a space right here for extension cords so you can plug them in and leave them plugged in and close it up okay in the box that you buy the uh, GFCI in you'll find these little stickers it says GFCI protected outlet so we've just proven that it does protect this outlet so we put the sticker on there so this is your GFCI weather resistant and this is your uh, outlet your weather resistant outlet that is GFCI protected so uh, there you go thanks I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 1AC voltage detector and the Fluke 117 electrician's meter. Also, I'll put links for Leviton weather resistant 20 amp GFCI receptacle and for the Leviton commercial grade weather resistant 20 amp receptacle. I'll put a link for the Leviton 2 gang extra duty clear cover that you saw in the video and I'll put a link for the ideal circuit breaker finder kit which includes a great receptacle tester. I'll put links for Wago lever nuts in assorted sizes and I'll put a link for the Weha number two Zeno driver screwdriver. Thanks I hope this video was helpful.